Vitamin B3 is also known as niacin, and it's one of the eight essential vitamins, which means that we cannot synthesize this vitamin ourselves, but we get it from foods. So we have to eat certain foods to get this vitamin along with seven others. It's a water-soluble vitamin, and it has many functions, mainly in producing energy, skin care, and the nervous system. Niacin deficiency can cause a condition known as pellagra, and it is characterized by three main features. Having skin rash that is scaly in nature, which means that the rash itself appears silvery or scaly in color. Think of something like fish skin. And this mainly affects areas that are exposed constantly to the sun, such as the face, the neck, and the forearms. And also causes glossitis, or inflammation of the tongue, and this appears as reddish tongue. And it also changes the bowel habits, either causing diarrhea, constipation, or a combination of the both. Other symptoms that are less sensitive, meaning that they can be caused by other vitamin deficiencies, include depression, headache, fatigue, memory loss, which is reversible, and hallucinations. The latter two are only seen in severe cases. The main causes of vitamin deficiency is, of course, limited diet, because like we said, we cannot synthesize this vitamin ourselves. So if somebody is limiting their diet to certain foods that does not include niacin, they will have deficiency eventually. And alcoholism, as this interferes with the metabolism and absorption of all the B family vitamins and generally in all water soluble vitamins. And carcinoid syndrome. And this is actually quite interesting. Carcinoid syndrome is a type of tumor that generally grows in the, in the appendix. And this tumor synthesizes serotonin. And this tumor makes serotonin by converting tryptophan. Now tryptophan is very important in the process of making niacin. So if all the tryptophan in your body is being converted to serotonin, you will have very little converted to niacin. And these are the three main peoples or categories of people who are more susceptible to having deficiency in niacin. The main food sources include red meat, especially beef or liver or pork, fish, brown rice, fortified cereals or bread, nuts and seeds, legumes and bananas. The daily recommended dose ranges from 40 mg a day to 18 mg a day depending on the patient's status of being pregnant or not, whether they're lactating or not, and whether they are females or males. Generally speaking, you need to be in the range between 14 to 18 mg a day. Now having niacin toxicity is quite rare and we don't see it very often, but it can happen mainly in people who take supplemented niacin. And again, this is rarer if somebody takes multivitamins, but more specifically if somebody is taking large amounts of specifically niacin supplements. And we see flushing or redness of the face, tingling in the face itself, and this tingling sensation or neuropathy can also be seen in other parts of the body, like the hands and the forearms. And if this persists in a long time, it can cause gout or gouty arthritis. Use the link below to get access to the full Essential Vitamins and Minerals course. In this course, we will talk about all the vitamins, the minerals, their important functions and deficiency symptoms. At the end of the course, you will be an expert in vitamins and essential minerals as the course covers everything that you need to know.